Okay, on to our final topic in adjusting journal entries, and that topic is unearned revenues. So, uh, unearned revenues are kind of like the cousin of the prepaid expense, and they're like the cousin of the prepaid expense in, in one way particularly. They're not a revenue at all. A prepaid expense, we said, wasn't an expense, it was an asset. Well, an unearned revenue isn't a revenue, it's a liability. And an unearned revenue happens any time a customer pays us in advance. So they give us the money before we do any work. We've got money, but we haven't earned it yet. We owe that customer something. We, owe, we don't owe them money. We owe them a product or a service. So when you pay for uh, something in advance, or when you're paid for something in advance, I should say, uh, you owe that customer either a product or a service. But the fact that you owe makes it a liability. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go through this problem and we'll, we'll look at how it works. Uh, it says, McLean's Maintenance agrees to provide six months of street cleaning service for a small townhouse complex at a rate of $200 per month. The complex pays McLean's $1,200 in advance on January 1st. The company's fiscal year end, uh, April 30th, uh, it is April 30th and at that time it had provided the first four months of services agreed. So record the journal entry on January 1st and the adjustment on April 30th. Okay so on January 1st let's see it says the complex plays, pays McLean's $1,200 on January 1st. So we're McLean's on January 1st we're getting paid so anytime you're getting paid you're getting cash cash is an asset it's an asset going up we're gonna debit cash so let's debit our cash I forgot to date this January 1st we're gonna debit cash and they paid us 1200 bucks they paid us six months in advance so we're gonna debit cash for twelve hundred dollars and that of course goes under the debits now they've given us twelve hundred dollars not out of the goodness of the heart their heart they've given a for us to provide them service we owe them twelve hundred dollars worth of service so the credit here is to a liability but it's a liability that we're gonna call a revenue very awkward so we're gonna call this unearned and that word unearned modifies this from being a revenue to being a, a liability unearned and what kind of revenue I guess maintenance revenue so I'm gonna call it unearned maintenance revenue so again the word unearned means it's a liability unearned maintenance revenue twelve hundred dollars and that of course goes under the credit heading so debit cash because we got twelve hundred dollars of cash coming in the door credit unearned maintenance revenue we want our maintenance revenue we're going to as time goes by but we haven't earned any yet we owe these guys twelve hundred dollars worth of maintenance so this uh, journal entry was a transaction you know we transacted some business they gave us some money we recorded a journal entry um, the B part of this is our adjusting journal entry so let's move on to B April 30th is our fiscal year end our financial year end we're gonna do financial statements and what we've got to say on our fiscal year end is we don't owe these guys twelve hundred dollars worth of service anymore it says we've provided the first four months of service as agreed uh, so if we provided the first four months of service as we agreed upon we don't owe them twelve hundred dollars anymore we've done some of the work we've got to figure out how much of that work we've done so again it was twelve hundred dollars for a six month contract two hundred bucks a month it actually said that in the question two hundred dollars a month and we've done January February March April we've done four months worth of work we've done eight hundred dollars worth of work meaning we've earned eight hundred dollars worth of revenue so whenever I earn revenue I know it's a credit revenues have to be credited I'm gonna credit maintenance revenue not unearned maintenance revenue this re this revenue has been earned maintenance revenue and I've earned eight hundred dollars worth my debit is to say this revenue is not unearned anymore I don't owe them twelve hundred dollars worth of work whenever I pay off a liability I debit it to make it go down well in this case we're paying off a debt by, by servicing them by, by doing service for them so I'm gonna debit unearned maintenance 
Ooh, sorry, my writing's so bad. I'll just say Rev for short. And that's for 800 bucks. So debit, unearned maintenance revenue, credit, the actual maintenance revenue account, and you're all set. This is our adjusting journal entry. And again, the reason is the townhouse complex that hired us, they have no idea this is happening behind the scenes. They're not saying, oh, these guys have earned $800 now. We better invoice them on April 30th. No, no, no. They're just thinking, okay, well, our contract ends in a couple months. Maybe we'll renew them or not. Uh, but they've done four months worth of work. Again, uh, we've done four months worth of work. We've earned four months worth of revenue. We need to say it's not unearned anymore. It's been earned. Debit unearned maintenance revenue. Credit maintenance revenue. We've got a good adjusting journal entry. Okay, so that's it for our five categories of adjustments. I'm going to make one final video to kind of summarize all of these and really wrap it up and hopefully give you a good feeling for what makes for an adjusting journal entry. I'll leave this video here.